Bonk. Ciao. Ciao ragazzi! Buongiorno! Prima non stai a come, no? ma ci sono una canna. Ciao yeah, Russia! Ciao yeah, Russia! Russia! It's a must! Mm -hmm. Ok, today in this vlog we're gonna show you, I mean, not, not me, but Guido, because he's the Italian, so I think he's more capable than me to show you how to pronounce Italian words that you often uh, use it in your country, especially in restaurant, right? to pronounce it right, to spell it right. So basically, like if you're talking about Italians, many people in the world, they already know about Italian food, like spaghetti, pasta, pizza, you name it, they already know. So this time, we don't want to, uh, to correct some Italian words that most foreigners, they say it wrong. For example, wait, let me check. So today we're gonna focus about about the Italian food. Uh, we can start with lasagna. Is it right to say that? Lasagna is an easy one. Come si dice? Lasagna. Some people probably say it like lasagna. Huh? Oh, that's true. It means is it lasagna? But have you heard some people say like that? Not for lasagna, Especially but... tourists when, when they come to Italy. Yeah, see. What? <laughs> but how you pronounce lasagna? Is it right? Oh, really? It's right. Is it right? Lasagna. lasagna. And the other one is how to pronounce pistachio? Pistachio. Che cosa pistachio? What is pistachio? No, no, so. Pistachio. Come? Pistachio. Most people say like pistachio or pistachio. Deal. But some people say it already right, like pistachio. Pist what? what? Pistachio. Si. Pistachio. It's going to be benefit for you if you're going to Italy or Italian restaurants. So whenever the waitress come to you and then ask what you're gonna order, don't say anymore about I want a pasta di pasta pistachio. Pistachio. Which one is really the most Italian word that uh, most people say it wrong? Bruschetta. Oh my god, bruschetta. I always, before I, I lived here, I always say like bruschetta or bruschetta or bruschetta. No, no, so. Bruschetta. Bruschetta. Now I know. Bruschetta. You know, this kind of type. Uh, you must know about bruschetta, right? So remember to say bruschetta. And what do you think about the other? Gnocchi. Gnocchi? What is this? Gnocchi is kind of uh, pasta. Pasta. Made with potato. Yeah, potato and flour. Now, come si dice gnocchi? Gnocchi. G N N gnocchi. Okay, this famous food from Italy: spaghetti bolognese. Bolognese. It, is it is it right to say spaghetti bolognese? No. Nope. Bolognese. You say the last e in the word bolognese. It's important because it's really famous food from Italy. Back then, when I was living in Indonesia and I found Italian restaurant, I re I, I was really curious about this pasta aglio olio. Now I can say it right. Before I I would say aglio olio. Mm -hmm. Aglio. Aglio. Aglio e olio. Aglio olio, which means pasta made with garlic and oil, which is uh, olive oil, I think. Mm -hmm. So don't say it wrong again after you watch this video. Aglio e olio. olio. Let's, 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 let's say linguini. Mm -hmm. Is it linguini or linguini? Linguini. Linguini, so you need to say, you need to spell the the hard G in that word, linguini. Maybe many people are gonna say linguini, especially Indonesian, because when N meets G, 
is we're gonna pronounce it ang, um, so it must be linguini, which is linguini. what? Linguini. <coughs> what is linguini again? It's a kind of spaghetti, but it's flat. Okay. Uh, just flat. It's not round. It doesn't have a round section like the noodles of mm -hmm. spag or spaghetti, but it's uh, flat. Okay, I'm gonna show you in the picture. And the other pasta is penne. 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 Don't be confused. It's the the M must be strong. Penne. Penne. What's penis in Italian? Penne. Con una N. N. Ah, okay. So you must pronounce it well. Can I get the what the hell? No. Yeah, I use many foreigners. No. Cold, <laughs> cold penis also the bread. Like it's pane. Pane. Okay. They would say pane. But we want. So be careful. Atenta, atenta persona, atenta people. Be aware about this word. Mm. You don't say pane because it means penis. <laughs> oh, now we go to. Part of pizza. Pizza. It's important. It hurts my heart when I hear people say I want a margarita. What is margarita? The cocktail. Oh, margarita. See, I would say margarita. Yeah. I always, you know, I always think they are the same. Just, you know, mix between margarita and margarita because they sound similar. They read, they written similar. Nope. So pizza. Margherita. Margherita. Mm. Mm. What else? Also, the ham is problem for the foreigner. What is prosciutto? Prosciutto. Cheese. We go to cheese right now. Parmigiano. Parmigiano. You know cheese that we always <coughs> say parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> it's parmigiano. Parmigiano. But in English, maybe it's, it's right parmesan. Well, it sounds like French. Parmigiano is a brand from Italy that is exported everywhere in the world, so the name must be Parmigiano. Tiramisu? Tiramisu. But this, yeah, this is, is easy. This is easy, but when I say tiramisu, like tiramisu to your, to your mom, right? She often asks you know, what kind of cake that you like. I would say tiramisu. She always like cut me like, no, you need to fix that. It's not tiramisu. But tiramisu, like that. Is it right? Yeah, it's right. For Italians, when there is accento, like in tiramisu, mm -hmm. say, did I say right now? Si. I need to say tiramisu. Like, you need to give a cut immediately after you you read this uh, accento or accent. Mm -hmm. Tiramisu, like that. You cannot say tiramisu, like, you know, the soft one, but you need to give, like, hard cuts in the end of tiramisu. Did I explain right? Okay. Right. Okay. And there is another one. Aspetta. Mozzarella. 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 If I say mozzarella, is the same? No. You have to put double Z. Mozzarella. Like that? Right. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Eh? Mozzarella. I said it right. Si, si, si. Eh. Difficult, you know. It, it looks easier, but it's not. Mozzarella. I say it's the same like you. Ask them if it's the same. I think that's all for the food. So let me try. I will say this, uh, these words. Mm -hmm. So you give me a score. Is it totally right or not? First, lasagna. That's good. Gnocchi. Mm -hmm. Pistacchio. Mm -hmm. Bruschetta. Bruschetta. Aglio olio, mm -hmm. parmigiano, mm -hmm. tiramisu, mm -hmm. <laughs> bolognese, mm -hmm. margherita, mm -hmm. margarita for the cocktail, mm -hmm. prosciutto, 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 double T, prosciutto, yeah. oh penne, this is the hardest, hardest one, mozzarella, mozzarella. Is it almost correct or correct? Almost correct. What the hell? Mo <laughs> mozzarella. No. Mozzarella. Oof. That 14 words that you most probably heard uh, outside, maybe in an Italian restaurant in your country, 
it's really good if you learn because it's gonna be useful for you if you're going to Italy someday and you're going to Italian restaurant and you, want to eat well. and you want to eat well there would be more respect for the foreigners or for the tourists that want to you know give a try to learn or to pronounce some Italians more with well is it right? maybe yeah. wow. but we are also used to it so in the restaurant people are already here every day bruschetta, gnocchi gnocchi <laughs> Bolognese. Bolognese. This kind of plate, margarita, they are so used to it with the foreigners. You can have a good impression on them if See. you correct it, yeah. if you spell it correctly. So that's all. I think the video is going to be a short one and then I hope you like this video. But uh, before we end this video, I want to remind you again don't forget to subscribe give a comment if you have any ideas and don't forget to give like and then i want to what is this <laughs> and guido and i really want to thank to you to support us for supporting our channels grazie for you uh, our subscribers our viewers and stay safe stay at home I hope this coronavirus is over soon. The world is going crazy right now, Amore. Let's pray for the best for our world. Do your job, stay at home. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Ciao. Da -da. Don't forget to subscribe. Ding, ding.